Hello, welcome back to AG Engineering. If you've been watching the channel from the beginning, you'll know one of my earlier videos was regarding uh, motorcycle brake drum skimming. Um, in that video, I set the wheel up in the mill on the rotary table and turned it by hand and with a combination of a, a rubber wheel in a, a cordless drill. Um, since then, I've been experimenting with some... Uh, some other ways of doing the same sort of thing in the milling machine but under power so uh, I'll take you over now to uh, to the milling machine and uh, show you the latest incarnation What I've got here is a similar sort of setup. I've got the lathe chuck on some parallels, um, clamped down there, and I've got the wheel spindle mounted in the chuck. So we're, uh, we're nice and rigid there. But over, as you'd see from the, uh, the belt, I've made some brackets up and mounted the motor on the other end of the milling machine table and we've got a flat belt drive. Now this I'll, uh, I'll bring you over again and look at in a little bit more detail. So apologies for the hand camera work on this bit. Um, this pulley was originally off the Clarkson tool and cutter grinder from uh, before I converted it to its V-belt drive, again if you've been watching the uh, the Clarkson Tool and Cutter Grinder episodes, with um, a new centre piece made up to adapt it to this motor that I happen to have lying about. The motor's mounted on a couple of angle brackets I've made up. Um, I've had to raise it a little bit just to clear the uh, the scale there for the digital readout it's on slotted adjusters there for height adjustment um unfortunately it had to be right at the bottom for this this setup i might have to play with this a little bit more in the final stages and the observant amongst you will notice that this is actually a three-phase motor and it's been modified to run on single phase without the use of an inverter um, because I haven't got one for the size of the motor this is a, a 0.25 kilowatt um, this is just an add-on external capacitor and if we look at the setup here power is off we're unplugged um, we're connected the link bars are connected in Delta and we've got the live and neutral conductors going into one pair of phases across U1, V1. And then we've got the capacitor linked across the next pair of phases across to there. So we're effectively making a false phase on this side. There's a lot more videos on this sort of thing on YouTube. Um, if you look in my subscriptions that I've uh, subscribed to, you'll find a few links there to uh, some other people that have done a similar thing. And it's also in the model engineering series of books. Um, Earth terminal there. And I'll show you how this runs in a moment. I'll just put the cover back on so we're safe and uh, we'll, get it, uh, we'll get it spinning. So there we are with the cover back on with an insulating gasket in between the uh, the terminal box and the, the lid. Um, there's some details on what the motor is. So it's a 0.25 kilowatt motor. And there are some capacity details just about to see them. It's uh, an 8 microfarad capacitor. 450 volt rated 
So now we'll plug in and just check that everything's clear there. The belt I've got is um, a modern equivalent of a, 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 sort of a fabric version of a leather belt with a um, alligator tooth type joiners on. Again, available on eBay and elsewhere. Um, I'll tell you where this was from in a second. This was from, the belt was from, and the link connector was from Stationary Engine Parts Limited, West House Farm, Weldrake Lane, York, Y. O forty one four A Z in uh, in the UK here. Well, let's see what this does. I want to use a little bit of cutting lubricant on this because it's uh, the rim and the, as you can see, the drum are in quite poor condition. The mill is off. There's no power to the mill whatsoever. And I need to reverse it. Back in a moment. Notice for this where I've got the um, the capacitor across there and there with the live and neutral going in that side. For reversing, I'm simply going to swap that live to that side and put the capacitor that side. I'll show you in a moment. And there we are with the capacitor leg swapped to the other side. Kind of like reversing two phases of a three phase motor for reverse. Okay, put the cover back on and we'll try again. Cover is back on the motor terminal box before we start. And we'll put our power on. Give it a little hand there to start it off. Obviously with this you've got rotating machinery, that's not a very um, good rim, there's a lot of flaky chrome on it, so uh, keep clear. I'm taking the cutter down, putting the feed on by moving the table that way. Just touched and then just put a couple more fair on. And initially I'll just take the rust off. Okay, what have we got so far? What's it done? Right, we've got some cutting there and a little bit of banding. So we've got a high spot there and going lower there. Uh, it's just started to touch on that side. Probably about a third of it has cleaned up quite nice. Considering the state it was in. 
So I'll have a little bit of a clean up of the tool and we'll take a little bit more cut. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this this as well is uh, let's have a competition and see who can guess what the wheel is. I'm sure at least one of my uh, subscribers will get the answer right. I'll keep taking cuts and uh, I'll come back when we're close. Right, there we are. I thought it's come off for the most part. Um, which isn't cast iron, it's probably cast steel or spun steel or whatever the liner is. Um, but yeah, I'll get that cleaned up and we'll see what it looks like. There we are. That's the uh, three wheels done I had to do um, by the... Uh, by the driven method and uh, turn out pretty good those so that's it that's another one done um, there's a clue to what make the uh, the wheels are and the fact there's only three of them so uh, that's it from me um, thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed it I hope it was a good update to the uh, the first version of the brake drum skimmer did. And uh hope you keep watching. Please subscribe. And uh, as ever, thanks very much. And uh, bye for now.